today our farming adventure is to put a new pasture in for our cows. The cattle are currently in a small pasture and they have eaten out a lot of the pasture so we are moving them to a new section so they have plenty to eat and right now we are just putting in these fence posts. Um, they're hot fence and we're going to run some wire across there and it's solar panel, solar powered uh, so it will constantly stay uh, nice and hot for them. It doesn't hurt the cattle or anything, but it just lets them know to keep them in. And they're pretty trained in order to know not to leave this area. So when they see the hot fence, they know not to leave it, which is really great for us. Um, so we don't have cattle getting out all the way and they're super easy to put in. So Ben, I'm going to turn you around and show you what Ben is doing. So Ben counts how many feet steps estimated of where he wants to go. And then I drive up give them another stick to place into the ground and we do the process all the way over again. Winston is just harassing the sheep underneath the trailer. The sheep love sitting underneath the trailer lately because it is just so hot. It gives them, they could be in the barn, but they choose to go underneath there. So that is pretty silly of those little guys. Rupert's on the outside. You can see him back there. He just watches over everybody. The sheep have learned not to mind Rupert. I mean, mind Winston as much anymore. You're doing great, Ben. And now it is my job to hold all of the hot wire. Looks like this on a big spool. And I string it in between all of the posts. There's gonna be three rungs of these and Ben's in front of me, he's weed whacking. So then that way uh, there's not any weeds or grasses hitting the hot fence when we get to that level. If there is, then it shorts out the fence and then it doesn't work. So we have to make sure that it's nice and low when we are doing all this. Okay, we're gonna test our fence. I hear you. We're gonna test our fence. Ben and I just built oh man it goes all the way down oh it was a ton wow so we're gonna go test it make sure that it is actually gonna work before we move them on there but these guys are ready they have eaten quite a bit of this field down <laughs> okay then test it <laughs> hello girls Come check it out. Come on over. All right, walk over, girl. Yep, yep. All right, we're good with it, right, Ben? Because there they come. <laughs> Hi, Ruby. You got it, Maggie. There's Duncan. That's her little baby. Those two little ones are, are half and half. Oh, I didn't see Emmett. Come on, Montgomery, you got it. Well, that was easy. We didn't have to move you very far, Stella. We did a head count and of course, we're missing Emmett, our little stinker butt. He is always, always the one who is separated. He's our Ferdinand. He's the one, oh, he has his head stuck between two trees, poor dude. Oh my gosh, Emmett! Emmett, are you kidding me? You poor little dude. Oh, oh God. Help you. Over here, Emmett. Come on. Come on.
There's always one. <laughs> We're walking to put Emmett back. He is such a stubborn, he's so stubborn. You want, you want him to go one way? He goes the other. It's the only calf. Everybody else is good. Super easy. Always Emmett. You can see we've already circled back. This is the spot we found him. <sighs> he's our calf that was born in Idaho and the day that we were moving, we had to load him onto a truck. We weren't quite sure if he was gonna make it. But he just does his own thing. This little guy, he's so calm. He loves to be by himself. He loves laying in the trees and the flowers, hence why his head was stuck. <laughs> he's all good. We checked, we made sure, so he hasn't, he's only been there for maybe a couple of hours because we've been out here, we've seen them all, so nothing to worry about. He doesn't have any scratches on him, only like a little bit of rub marks behind his ears, but that's all. He's going to be okay.